Hi everyone, I'm Nikki. I'm the face behind Innocent Teddy's YouTube channel. Most of you might have seen my Instagram page. If not, go check out my Instagram page. This is my first ever proper YouTube video, so please bear with. My aim for this YouTube channel is to uh, kind of do some tutorials uh, for beginners or people getting into crochet or even people that um, have been doing crochet for a while and just want some, some new projects to try. Um, and also do a few videos of behind the scenes of making my um, plushies or maybe market setups. So I've got a couple of videos in mind, but suggestions are always welcome. So feel free to give me any comments or suggestions of kind of videos that you would like to see. So today I thought for my first ever one, I would do a video tutorial of how to make my rhino pattern. So my rhino pattern can be purchased on my Etsy store. Um, I'll put the link in uh, the bio or whatever YouTube does, I'll figure it out. Um, so th th there are plenty of patterns of my own that can be purchased on my Etsy store as well as actual plushies if you don't want to make them. But I thought today we'd do a tutorial on my rhino pattern. So we can make a rhino together. Uh, if you do, please, please tag me. I'd love to see your creations. Um, I always love seeing what other people have made from my own patterns. It's like just totally really cool. So here we go. So this rhino pattern is super simple and really quick. Um, it only takes a few steps um, to make him. I've made him in uh, grey majority of the time, but I've also got him in blue. So he works up really well in a majority of the colours. Uh, feel free to do whatever colour you like really. So for this project we will need some yarn. The type of yarn I use for this particular project is James Brett Flutterby yarn um, or any other kind of chunky chenille um, yarn works just as well. We're going to have a 4.5 millimetre crochet hook. This can be changed for a 5 millimetre crochet hook depending on the finishing result that you're looking for. We then have scissors, uh, sewing needle, stitch markers and possibly some pins just for um, the sewing at the end and we also have some 10 millimeter safety eyes and the safety caps for the backs of them. Lastly we also need some soft toy filling. Uh, this is the soft toy filling that I use. Again feel free to use whatever suits you but that's just the one that I use. The approximate size of your finished plushie, if you were to use this um, chunky yarn, is approximately 10 inches. But like I say, this will alter depending on the crochet hook or the yarn you use. So we're going to start off with the legs. How we start the legs is putting six single crochets in a magic ring. I loop the yarn around my two fingers of my left hand. I then get my hook and I hook under both of those loops grab up the third loop so I get this and then go under the loop again and pull up our first stitch. We're then going to do that six more times three four five and six what I do now is I pull this yarn closest to us and then I close the ring. For any tips on magic ring, because that was quite a quick um, run through, I will be doing um, a more specific tutorial on magic rings um, on my channel, so please keep an eye out. If not, feel free to just have a look at different tutorials for magic rings. So once we've got our, our six single crochets in a magic ring, we're then gonna increase in every one of these stitches. So I'm gonna go into the first one and single crochet. Then I'm gonna go back into the same stitch and single crochet again. So that is our first increase. And we're gonna do that five more times in every stitch. So my second increase, I'm on four. So at the end of this round, you should have 12 
single crochets around your ring. Now on to round three. We're gonna place our stitch marker into that very first stitch where our hook is so that we know where to end for the next round. So in the next round, we're gonna single crochet into the first stitch. Then we're gonna put an increased stitch into the next stitch. So we're gonna do two single crochets into the next stitch. And then we're gonna repeat that around the circle. So single crochet into the next stitch and then two single crochets after that and carry on and then we should have 18 at the end of this round. Doing our final increase. So we have 18 in our ring now. Place the stitch marker back on. So we're starting to get our little foot coming through now. So in round four, in round four, we're gonna do 18 single crochets, but in the back loops only. So what this means is we're only gonna go into the back loops of these stitches. So I'm gonna go into the back loop, rather than looping up two like we normally do, I'm only gonna have one loop on my hook. I'm gonna single crochet as normal, and I'm gonna do the same in the next one. Put, go under one stitch, pull up and single crochet as normal and carry on all the way around in the back loops only. Okay, so we're coming into the last few back loop stitches now. So what you'll find is that's made a really nice little hoof for our rhino. And then round five to seven, we're just gonna go round these 18 stitches to build up our leg. So I'll meet you back at the end of round seven. So I've got my seven rows done of my first leg. I've slip stitched to finish and I've left a tail. We're gonna repeat the exact same thing we've just done for our second leg. However, we're not going to close or cut the yarn after row seven. So I'll meet you back at row seven of the second leg. So I'm at round seven of my second leg. And what we're gonna do, we're not gonna slip stitch and fasten off this second leg. We're gonna chain one. And then where we left off in the first leg, I'm gonna put my hook through the hole and then I'm gonna draw up the yarn like normal through both loops. So we've got this little join-in section. So once I've joined the legs together, I'm gonna to go around each leg to continue on the body and we should have 36 stitches in total. So, when we get to the little interlinking chain, I'm gonna single crochet, and then I'm gonna go into the first loop of the chain, of the interlinking chain, and then, and then single crochet as normal. Then I'm gonna do the exact same, single crochet, and then I'm gonna carry on around the second leg. Then on the other side of the, the interlinking chain, we're going to go back in under the loop and single crochet and then into the last remaining stitch. So we have our first row of the body round eight. If you guys happen to end up with like little holes in between your legs, feel free to just use this remaining um, this remaining yarn that you have to fill in any of the holes you have. Luckily I haven't on mine, but it is really common. So do not feel like you've done anything wrong if you do find you've got holes. 
So on round nine, we're gonna do five single crochets and an increase. So we go one, two, three, four, five, and then in the next stitch, I'm gonna do two single crochets as an increase stitch. And we're gonna carry that on So at the end of round nine, you should have 42 stitches. So from round 10 to 17, we're gonna continue crocheting around the 42 stitches. So I'll meet you back at the end of round 17. So I've got to the end of round 17. So we should have a nice little body forming now. We're gonna take this time to stuff the legs. So row 18 is going to be five single crochets and a decrease. So we're gonna start making the neckline. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna do an invisible decrease. So what this looks like, is like I said earlier about the back loops, we're gonna go into the back loop of this next stitch. And then pull up, but not go all the way through. We're gonna then do the exact same for the next stitch. So we've got three loops on our hook right now. Pull through and then loop and pull through all three. So that is our invisible decrease. We're then gonna carry on. So after round 18 and our first decrease round, we should have 36 single crochets. Round 19, we're gonna single crochet around all 36 stitches. And round 20, we're gonna do four single crochets and a decrease. Round 21, we're going to do 30 single crochets around. So here I'm going to stuff the body a little bit more, making sure it's all evenly distributed throughout. I'm going to spread it to the side and then stuff the middle just to make sure we're getting it really evenly covered and stop any clumps forming. At round 22, we're gonna do three single crochets and then a decrease. Round 23, we're gonna do two single crochets and a decrease. And for the last round, round 24, we're gonna do 18 single crochets. We're gonna slip stitch to finish off. I'm gonna leave a long tail for sewing the head on. We're then gonna stuff the final part And that is the body complete. We're now gonna be starting on the head. So like all the other pieces, we're gonna start with a magic ring and six crochets within it. So 
I'm then going to close the ring. And that is our first round done. In the second round, we're going to do two increases in every stitch to get 12 in total. So we're going to do six increases. In round three, we're going to single crochet and increase six times around. So what that means is we're going to single crochet into the next stitch. And the stitch after, we're going to do two single crochets in to make an increase. We're going to then repeat this around on our last increase now. So at the end of round three, we should have 18 single crochets round our ring. In round four, we're gonna do two single crochets and an increase the whole way round. So we're gonna do one single crochet into the first one and then another one into the second stitch. And on the third stitch, we're gonna do an increase. And then we're going to repeat this. In round five, we're going to do three single crochets and an increase to end up with 30 stitches at the end. In the sixth round, we're going to do four single crochets and an increase, and this should give us 36 stitches. In round seven, we're going to do five single crochets and an increase to end with 42 stitches. So at the end of round seven, we should have 42 stitches. And from row eight to 12, so five rounds, we're gonna just do one single crochet into every stitch. So we're gonna keep doing 42 single crochets um, for the next five rounds. So I'll meet you back at the end of round 12. So we've now reached the end of row 12. So we should start to have this little dome shape. On round 13, we're gonna to start to decrease. So we're gonna do five single crochets and a decrease to bring the total back down to 36. So I'm gonna finish that off and we're now at the end of row 13. So we should have 36 stitches in total. In round 14, we're going to continue to decrease. We're going to do four single crochets and then a decrease. So at the end of round 14, we should have 30 stitches in total. In round 15, we're going to do three single crochets and then a decrease to get 24 stitches in total. So here we're gonna to start to stuff the head, making sure it's evenly distributed. So round 16, we're gonna single crochet 12 stitches After these 12 stitches, we're going to single crochet and decrease four times until the end. I'm going to single crochet and then do a 
decrease. And I'm gonna do that four more times. So for the next three rounds, we're gonna single crochet into every stitch. So we're gonna single crochet 20 stitches for the next three rounds. So we've come to the end of round 19. So we've done our three rounds of 20 single crochets. In round 20, we're gonna do two single crochets and a decrease five times stuff the little snout bit that we've got in the making at the moment. So round 21, we're going to do one single crochet and then a decrease the whole way round. So we should end up with 10 stitches in total. In the very last round, round 22, we're going to decrease five times. If you want to add any last minute stuffing, just to get the snout extra firm, you can just do that quickly now. We're then going to cut the yarn, but we're going to leave enough to sew the hole closed. And I'm going to grab my yarn needle. And we're going to go into each stitch like so. And then going to go into the last one and once we've slipped the yarn under each we're just going to pull it closed and then I'm going to do a couple of stitches just to make sure that it stays nice and tightly closed and then we're going to thread this yarn in and we can push that in and we then have our finished head. I forgot to mention the safety eyes. You need to place the safety eyes between rounds 14 and 15, approximately five stitches apart. So I'm really sorry I forgot that. I will put a reminder in earlier, but I'm also mentioning it now because I completely forgot and I'm always doing that. Um, if you do um, end up forgetting, like I have, and you want to add the safety eyes in afterwards, what I do is I just uh, glue gun them on. Um, and I can do a tutorial on that at a later date, but don't panic, there's always solutions. To start the arms, we're going to do six single crochets in a magic ring. You will need to make two of these arms, both the exact same way. In round two of the arm, we're going to do two single crochets into every stitch. So we're going to do increases the whole way round to get our total stitches up to 12. So for round three to 11, so the next nine rounds, we're gonna just single crochet 12 stitches um, around each round. So I'll meet you back at the end of round 11. So I've just reached the end of round 11 for the arms. So I'm gonna slightly stuff the arms. And once you've stuffed them enough, we're going to flatten this top part. 
stuffed it a bit too much. We're going to flatten this part and we're going to slip stitch across the top to close the arm. So we're going to slip stitch through both sides approximately six times. We're then going to leave a long tail for sewing the arm onto the body. We then should have two arms 